Have you ever wondered why bees are so important? Why do they buzz around flowers all day? Well, let's dive into the wonderful world of bees and find out. Bees aren't just tiny creatures with a love for flowers and a knack for making honey. They're also hardworking environmental superheroes who play a crucial role in our planet's health. Imagine them as tiny gardeners, taking care of our plants and helping them grow. Now I know what you're thinking. Bees are just insects, right? Well, not quite. These buzzing buddies are the world's top pollinators, which means they help plants reproduce. And without plants, we'd have a whole lot less to eat and breathe. So, in a way, every breath you take and every bite you eat, we owe a little thanks to our bee friends. And that's just the tip of the hive. There's so much more to learn about these fascinating insects. So, are you excited to know more about these buzzing buddies? Hop on! Did you know bees are like mailmen, but for flowers? Yes, they deliver pollen. Now you might be thinking, what's pollen? Well, pollen is a yellow dust that flowers make. It's like the magic ingredient that helps flowers make seeds. And seeds, my friends, are the starting point for new plants, including many of the fruits and vegetables we love to munch on. Here's how it works. When a bee lands on a flower to sip some sweet nectar, some of this magical pollen sticks to the bee's fuzzy body. As the bee flits from flower to flower, some of this pollen rubs off onto other flowers. This is what we call pollination. Think of it like this. Imagine you're covered in sticky glitter, and every time you give a high five to a friend, some of that glitter sticks to them. That's basically what bees do, but with pollen and flowers. But why is this so important? Well, many plants need this pollen delivery service to make seeds and fruit. Without bees, these plants wouldn't be able to reproduce. That's a fancy way of saying they wouldn't be able to make baby plants. And guess what? Many of our favorite foods come from plants that bees pollinate. Imagine a world without strawberries for your summer picnics or pumpkins for your Halloween carving. No apples for your pies, no cherries for your ice cream. It's almost unthinkable, right? Bees, these tiny buzzing creatures, play a gigantic role in our food system. They're like the unseen heroes of our planet, working tirelessly to keep our plates colorful and our bellies full. But bees don't just help us humans. They also help other animals by pollinating plants that produce berries, seeds, and nuts. These are essential food sources for many species of birds and mammals. So the next time you see a bee buzzing around a flower, remember they're doing an important job. They're not just collecting nectar for honey, they're also helping flowers to make seeds. So without our buzzing buddies, we might not have many of our favorite fruits and veggies. Now who likes honey here? Well, you have bees to thank for that. Honey, that golden, sticky, sweet stuff we love to spread on our toast or mix into our tea, comes from our buzzing little friends, the bees. But how do these tiny creatures make something so delicious and why do they do it? Let's start at the beginning. Bees collect nectar, a sweet liquid from flowers. They store this nectar in a special stomach called a honey stomach. Once the bee returns to the hive, it passes the nectar to another bee by regurgitating the liquid into the other bee's mouth. This process is repeated until the nectar becomes partially digested and is then deposited into a honeycomb. But we're not quite at honey yet. The bees then fan their wings to evaporate any remaining water in the nectar. What's left is thick gooey honey. The bees then seal the honeycomb with a wax lid to keep it clean. And voila, we have honey. So why do bees go through all this trouble just to make honey? Well, honey serves as food for bees, especially during winter when flowers are scarce. A single bee colony can consume between 40 to 60 pounds of honey in a single winter. Now here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that to make just one pound of honey, bees have to visit 2 million flowers? That's a lot of flower visits. And another fun fact is that honey never spoils. Archaeologists have found pots of honey in ancient Egyptian tombs that are over 3,000 years old and still perfectly good to eat. Honey is not just delicious but also beneficial for us humans. It contains vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and has been used for centuries for its medicinal properties. So, the next time you drizzle honey on your pancakes or stir it into your tea, take a moment to appreciate the hard-working bees who made it all possible. After all, without bees, we wouldn't have this sweet treat. So every time you enjoy your honey, remember to thank the bees. Ever heard of the word biodiversity? It's like a big, colorful party of different plants and animals. Now picture this, imagine you're at a grand party with a rainbow of guests. 
There are tiny insects buzzing around like party poppers, large animals stomping their feet to the music, and plants of all shapes and sizes swaying to the rhythm. This, my friends, is a sneak peek into the world of biodiversity. But wait, what's that buzzing sound? Ah, it's our little friends, the bees. They're the life of this party. You see, bees play a crucial role in keeping this party going. How, you ask? Well, bees are like the party planners of our biodiversity bash. They flit from one plant to another, carrying pollen on their fuzzy bodies. This pollen then fertilizes other plants, helping them to produce fruits, vegetables, and seeds. This process is called pollination. But the bee's job doesn't stop there. Oh no, they're working overtime to ensure that all the party guests are having a good time. By helping plants to reproduce, they're providing food for other animals in the ecosystem. And guess what? The more different types of plants there are, the more different types of animals can survive. That's because different animals need different plants for food and shelter. So, by helping plants, bees are indirectly helping other animals too. Isn't it amazing how these tiny creatures can have such a big impact? But here's the thing. Just like any good party, our biodiversity bash needs balance. If we lose our bees, we lose our balance. Without bees, many of our favorite fruits and vegetables would disappear and the party would be less fun. So let's raise a glass, or rather, a flower, to these incredible little creatures. Because without them, our world wouldn't be as vibrant, as beautiful, or as diverse. So without bees, our planet's party would be less fun. Now that we know how important bees are, what can we do to help them? Well, here's the good news. We can all play a part in helping our buzzing buddies thrive. And the best part, it's as easy as pie or should we say, as sweet as honey. Firstly, we can plant more flowers. Bees love flowers and flowers love bees. It's a win-win. Not just any flowers, mind you. Bees prefer native flowers, the ones that naturally grow in your area. They're like the bees' favorite restaurants, serving up the tastiest nectar in town. So next time you're in your garden, consider planting some local bloomers. Not only will you be helping the bees, but you'll also be making your garden look like a masterpiece. Secondly, we could all be a little more bee-friendly when it comes to pesticides. Pesticides are like that one food you just can't stand. For bees, they're more than just yucky, they're harmful. So instead of using chemical pesticides, why not try natural alternatives? Things like garlic, chili pepper, or even a mix of water and dish soap can help keep pests away without harming our striped friends. Lastly, let's not keep this knowledge to ourselves. Share it with your friends, your family, your neighbors. The more people know about how they can help bees, the better. Who knows? You might just start a bee-saving revolution in your neighborhood. And remember, you don't have to do everything at once. Start small. Maybe today you plant a flower, tomorrow you switch to natural pest control, and the next day you tell your best friend about it. Every little bit helps. So there you have it. Three simple ways we can help save our buzzing buddies. Remember, even the smallest actions can make a big difference. So, let's do our bit to help our buzzing buddies.